Hello guys, welcome. In this video tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can print our name along with our address. So now get started. So first thing was you already know that if you wanna print anything inside C language, we need to use this function called printf. And here, if you are working with string values like your name or address, you need to use these double quotations. And between those double quotations, you need to enter your string values. So my name, okay. And I'm going to end this line with the semicolon. And after that, I'm going to run this program and I will get my name as an output. So I'm able to print my name. Next, I want to print the address, right? My address. So I need to use another printf function where I can enter my address 21 jump street India. And I'm going to end this line with the semicolon. I'm going to run it again. Now I'm able to print my name along with my address. It's working, right? So next, I, what I want to do, I want to enter a break line after my name and before my address. So I can add a break line over here or here. So slash n for a new line. Run it again. You will see name, new line, and the address. Now it's working. But uh, for string values, I'm using two different functions. Sorry. I'm using this printf function multiple times. What if I want to print the same values by using just a single printf function? So in that case, what you can do, you can get the values from the second printf function, right? And you can use it over there. See, name, new line, and the address. Run it, and you are getting the same output using single printf function. So now it's working. But the issue is right now I'm hard coding everything here. See, what if I want to get the name and the address from a variable? Later we will learn how to get the values from the user. Let's say they're going to enter the value whenever we run the program. But for now, what if I want to get these values from a variable? So first thing we need to create variables, right? So I'm going to create char for characters, name, and this name going to handle let's say 20 characters okay as you as you can see here my name includes two four seven characters okay so this name is valid okay so equals to name is shubham and this line with the semicolon and second variable for address and address can be lengthy so i'm going to use 100 there and the address is 21 jump street india and semicolon over there and instead of you know writing a name over there we're gonna use these variables and we're gonna get these value from these variables so i'm gonna use percent s there i'm gonna delete the address and percent s there so think of it uh think of them as a placeholder so at this first percent s place we wanna return the name and here we want to return the address okay so percent s name the new line percent s the address okay so it's a placeholder for strings and if you run it you will see you will get your name and the address this time we are using variables in order to get these variable um, values so now it's working. So now the last method is how we can get this value whenever we run our program and we will get this value dynamically, not uh, we, and we don't have to hard code everything. We can get this value after running our program. So for that, what do we need to do? We still need uh, these variables, right? <laughs> but we don't have to assign this value right away. We can leave them undefined. They are defined, but values aren't defined yet. So after de declaring the vari uh, variables, what do you need to do? We need to print a line. So we are telling our user what to do. So we want them to enter their name. Okay. And whenever they enter their name, we want to store their name. So we're going to use scanf. Scanf percent s because we're going to get the string value values. And here we're going to use and uh, name. So we are storing those value inside our variable called name. You can uh, skip this and because uh, these uh, string already know 
the memory location but it's always recommended to use ampersand there because uh, it's easier to understand so whenever you are using ampersand that's mean you are storing the values whenever you are not using the ampersand that's mean you are getting the value or retrieving the value okay and uh, yeah so they're gonna enter their name and you are storing that name or that string value inside your variable done now next we wanna do the same thing for the address so enter your address and uh, we're gonna end this line with the semicolon scanf we, we will get the string value the address and we will store that value inside variable which is address okay and uh, yeah so if i run it and enter your name my name is shubham press enter your address india enter see shubham india it's working so it's working right so what if i want to present my values like your name is colon name new line then your address is colon the address okay something like that so if i run it name is shubham and address is uh, india so your name is shubham and uh, your address is india it's working right but the thing is uh, if i use uh, my full address right now i'm using only my country name but if i use my full address you will see something weird there so my name is shubham okay but my address is 21 jump street india if i press enter you will see my name is correct but my address is only 21 it's only returning the first word right from the string so the thing is we are including multiple spaces there it's, uh, it's also not gonna work for the name so right now i'm using only my first name what if uh, I use my middle name also and if I press enter you will see I won't be able to enter my address it will return the final output right away you see see enter your address your name is this and your address is Kumar so they think this first name is my name and Kumar is my address so yeah so whenever you are working with blank spaces so whenever you are assuming that your user gonna enter some blank spaces because in for addresses 21 space jump space street in that case uh, we need to have you know blank spaces there so whenever we are working with blank spaces what we, we have to use uh, uh, f gets instead of scanf okay so first thing i want to what i want to do i want to replace this scanf with the uh, f gets okay here you need to provide the uh, variable name where you want to store the value. I want to store the value inside the name variable because I'm going to get the name here. Na name and the size. So you can, you already know size is 20. So you can give 20 there or you can get the size automatically using the size of function. So this size of function will automatically get the size of that variable. Okay. And comma you can use stdin standard input and semicolon over there and now if you run your program enter your name my name is shubham and kumar see i'm using blank spaces there if i press enter see i'm still able to enter my address 21 jump street so it's only gonna work for my name but not for my address so if i press enter see my name is uh, shubham kumar and the address is 21 so something went wrong here because i use blank space backspace here so if i run it again it's not gonna happen again so run it again my name is shubham okay then kumar my address is 21 jump street street india press enter now see your name is shubham kumar is working but my address is only 21 not jump street because blank spaces and scan of not gonna work there so we need to replace the scanf with the f get so you already know so you need to use f gets right the variable name where you want to store the value you want to store the value inside our variable address and you know the size but you can use size of function 
to automatically get the size so address so this size of function will automatically get the size of my variable and after that we need to use std in standard input semicolon to end everything and uh, that's our final code if you run it now let's enter the full name shubham kumar enter 21 uh, jump street india enter so your name is shubham and your address is 21 jump street india so yeah so everything is working so i hope it's also gonna work for you and uh, yeah so if it's not working for you you can also contact us uh, and book a free google meet session where we will where we will take a look at your problem using google meet for that you you can find our email address inside the description box below and you can also share your problem inside the comment section we will try our best to fix your issue and uh, i hope i will see you in my next video till then take care goodbye